Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So, my name is Von Mercury Marquez and hey ya! So, for today's video, I am your Mud Love One Science that surely you will be get amazing on how this science works in our daily life. Today, we are going to explore, adventure, and know how does light mix contribute in our daily life. But before that, we must first tackle about the concept in regards with the light. So, light has been part in our life. Basically, we are all amazed on the things that broke by science. And eventually, science broke magical into our realm that we surely get amazed on the things that broke by this one. Light is very essential in our daily living, become a part of our daily living as what I have said earlier. Science made us realize how magical the life is with an explanation. We all know that we draw our lives with darkness and light. And we all know that darkness is the absence of light. But when we track to the path of lightness, to the purity of light, we surely amazed that things beyond of the horizon are clearly seen and we get to amaze of it. Light is one of the example of an energy, the forms of an energy. So later on we will be discussing a little concept of light and how does light gives kin or contribute to the daily living and how does it works. So if you're still not yet connect in my channel, just please don't forget to hit the like button, tap the subscribe button, and click the notification bell so that you are updated whenever I have video uploaded. So let's start this video and ta-da! -na! scientists who propose the definition with regards of the concept of light and there are numerous people who contribute a lot on this concept so let's take first on this person or scientist who made a big contribution with regards on this definition of light so Sir Isaac Newton is one of them he states that light behaves like a particle but when Christian Huygens defend himself that light behaves like a wave there is some kind of um, arguing with regards to this concept that light is about a particle light is all about a wave but what does it get and with this regards, there are also, you know, there are also experiments that been conducted and uh, knowing it with the analyzation. There is one person who gives the definition of it regards with the light. And that is Max Planck. So he came up with an idea that light is actually a dual nature of light. What does it mean? It can be a particle or it can be a wave but basically light is a form of energy right light or a visible light is refers to an electromagnetic radiation that can be detected by our naked eye or a human eye and we all know that in the electromagnetic spectrum light or the visible light is the things that can be seen Without light, everything will be in dark, or should I say, would be boring. Because when we perceive things, it creates color. So those 
things that we can see, di ba? Alam naman po natin na in the visible light, it consists the rainbow colors, or should I say, the roji beef, the red, orange, green, yellow, blue, indigo, and violet. Without light, everything would be boring. So, that's it. That's a little bit concept with regards of the light. So, let's go with the two categories of the light. Reflection. Reflection is a ph phenomena which light wave bounce back from the surface. So there are some laws and first one of it is the incident and reflective rays will always be in one plane. Thus, the incident ray as well as the reflected ray and the perpendicular to the surface will all lie in one plane. And the angle of incidence will always be equal to the angle of reflection for a smooth surface. So let's all discuss how this phenomena reflects on our daily living. The water is calm, it behaves like a smooth surface, right? So as we look at or see clearly the images in water, right? So we can see clearly our images on the water. So that is one of the example of reflection. So this is an example of the specular reflection. So when the water is not calm, this is causing a diffuse reflectance and we are not able to see the clear image. So the very first application of the reflection of light is our image in a flat mirror. Light rays hit the mirror and come back from the mirror to our eyes and the image looks like it. So it's just like in the behind the mirror. So we can utilize this in cars. So we are having a convex mirrors in order to get more field of view and we can see the vehicle coming behind in such mirror and a large area around the vehicle. As we do have it in the headlight of the car, where the bulb is actually emitting in random directions, when it hits here the concave mirror, it makes it like a parallel race, and the light of a car just seems like a beam of a race going out. So that's it all about the reflection. So let's take about the refraction. Refraction is all about the bending of the light so it also happens in the sound what in the sound water and anything in the waves so there is a bending wave motion so as it passes from one transparent substance into another so this bending is caused by refraction it makes it possible for us to have lenses like magnifying magnifying glasses prisms and rainbows one way of the very practical example of refraction is the falling sun so when the light waves coming from the sun are experiencing the seven layers of the sky and they are having different refractive indices so the refractive index is becoming more and more as it comes close to the globe so there is a reflection will occur so when we see the sun in horizon it is slightly lower than the real or when the sun is falling we sometimes see its very deformed image and the reason for this is when light rays are coming from the sun they are experiencing our environment thus refraction will occur as the atmosphere is not fixed these variations cause the image to deform another very nice example of refraction of light is the twinkling of the stars every night we go outside from our house and take a look out at the sky and we see a lot of stars or forming it like constellations and we 
didn't know how the stars twinkle or how the stars shining, shimmering, and splendid. So the light rays coming from the stars refract in the environmental layers and is richest as we see the apparent location of stars. Then another thing is our environmental layers are not stationary. So the image which is coming will be see somehow wobbling through this environmental layer. Thus, we have twinkles due to the refraction of light. Well, that we've, uh, so now that we have been ended our exploring with regards to the light and also we have already learned uh, the concept with regards to the two categories of light which is the refraction and the reflection and somehow we also know some examples that gives contribute to our daily living so without light everything will be in dull and light so we could see a monochromatic um, picture or depictions so it would be boring it would be dull we could we can see clearly only color white and dark a blue a black and white color images so that's it guys and I hope that you've learned about the concept of this light and if you're still have a comment regards to the examples you can also comment down below and state what you are uh, state in your mind on what are the things that made possible or contribute to the reflection and to the refraction so once again this is Bon Marky Warkes and thank you for your tuning in and bye and see you to our next vlog